Jason here, AKA Superhero Stepdad. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller on eBay. I go thrifting at uh, Goodwills, Salvation Armies, flea markets, yard sales, pretty much anywhere I can find stuff. My wife and I have been doing this full-time for about the past six years. And today I'm gonna go hit up about five, maybe six stores and see what I can find. All right, we just pulled into the first Goodwill, the one with no internet service. Let's go see what we can find. Found this shark rotator powered lift away. It's nine bucks. Shark vacuums do really, really well. So I'm gonna go check it out. There's a brand new Tex Crocs, but they're $25. So we're gonna skip those. Seven dollars for true religion, it's not bad. Rocco, I'm not familiar with that one. I'll have to look those up. All right, there's a nice Carhartt jacket, quilted, and they only want twelve bucks for it. So that is a nice buy. Let's see what the jackets they have. No suit jackets. Cole Hawn jacket. I didn't know who Cole Hawn made jackets. Look that one up. Nice. All right, just got back from uh, finishing up at the first Goodwill right back there. Uh, that was a uh, fantastic haul. I got most of the things that I showed in the video and the uh, bonus was up in the front left corner, there was actually internet service, which was a Tremendous surprise. So I was actually able to look up everything before or without having to come back to the car. So I got those. I got a few other things that I didn't show in the video because it was getting really crowded and the music was just getting very loud in there. Uh, so now I'm going to head up to Walmart, which is right up there, right up there somewhere, somewhere up there. And we're gonna see if they have any more Halloween stuff. So let's go. All right, here we are five seconds later. We're heading up into Walmart which is just up the hill from that Goodwill we're just at. Let's go see if we can find any Halloween stuff. This store is not as big as the other one, but hopefully they will have something good. It's all Christmas stuff. I have no idea where the Halloween is. Let's see. This is where it was at the other store. So, fa la la. Uh, this does not look like Halloween. All right, I just confirmed with one of the uh, workers that Halloween stuff is all gone. She said that they clearanced it to 90% off the day after Halloween, which is great for them, bad for us. Most of the other stores are just now at like 75% off, but um, all right, well, that was a bust. All right, let's go to the next store. I'm gonna check out this St. Vincent de Paul store here. It's just a local charity. Nice store. Usually has really good prices too. Let's see what they got. Basement. 
All right, the uh, only other thing I found in here so far, this incredible Steelers terrible towel from Super Bowl 13, which was what, somewhere in the 70s. And it was a dollar. So yeah, that will definitely be coming home. It's probably like a $70, $80 towel. All right, let's see what's in the basement. bigger things down here. Let's do this Hankscraft humidifier for five bucks. It's not bad, it's like a seventy eighty dollar thing. Alright, so did find that cool vapor, that uh, Hank's Craft Cool Vapor for five bucks, Va humidifier, five dollars. That's a fantastic deal. Other than that, nothing else really in the basement. So I'm gonna go check out and go hit up another little uh, store that's kind of like this. That's just down the road. All right, so I'm walking back to the car. My total was thirteen dollars and eighty cents for this humidifier, the two pair of Duluth jeans, that old Steelers terrible towel, and that Wrangler uh, flannel shirt. That's an incredible deal. Let's head off to the Christian Layman store, which is a little local uh, Catholic or Christian charity, I believe. It's just down the street. And I'm not going to film while I drive there because it's very busy at this time of the day. So as soon as we get there, we'll see what they got. All right. Just got to Christian Layman. I have to park at Rite Aid because their lot is always packed. It's a tiny little parking lot we will walk across the street to it actually there's one spot there but there's no way I'm going to fit my car now the and the birth some Rogaine here for two bucks and two bucks. It's got like a return sticker on it from Walmart or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it because these are incredible to sell if they're brand new. So I'll have to look it over better, but I'm not gonna pass it up for that price. All right, just got out of the layman store and didn't find too much. Just that Carhartt jacket, the Rogaine at Woolrich hat. Uh, it was like 13 bucks. Didn't expect to, don't usually find too much. I only go there like two or three times a year because they don't have too much new inventory, but it's a nice store and I like helping out because the money goes to a needy cause. So now we're gonna go up to, last stop is gonna be the local Goodwill that I try to go to at least three, four times a week. So let's go. Singer of Aha, take on me. All right, so I'm back in the car. I'm going to go to one last store for today. This will be, I believe, store number six. It's called the Wow Outlet. I'm sitting in the parking lot of Goodwill. Like, like I said, I'll show you everything I got when I get the Habitat for Humanity section here. It's a place that can often have some really good things, so that's where we're gonna head. It's in 
Tons of chairs. Let's go check out the tools. Craftsman radial saw, 50 bucks. This whole table was full of tools the other week. Sealed bibs and toilet. More tables. Find some good car mounts in here. I found some really good ones. Helmax wall texture. Check this stuff. Put your ass can come out. Okay, just got out of the uh, Habitat for Humanity, the restore. It was only in there for about five minutes. Those, um, whatever those last things I showed, they were five bucks a bottle and they're going on eBay for like. 10 bucks a piece and then lots they were selling for about 10 a piece so it wasn't worth it i didn't buy them i didn't buy anything there all right we're gonna do a quick recap here uh, my wife's gonna come out she's gonna hold the camera for me first let's go say hi to the birds we got the skateboard for them you girls you want to ride a skateboard do you guys want to ride a skateboard no why are you running away you don't want to ride a skateboard buck, buck, buck. huh what are you eating today still eating that pumpkin Oh. <laughs> All right. They didn't escape last night. Well, I'll start. She's coming up. We saw the, uh, the Hanks Craft Cool Vapor. What is it called? The Cool Vapor Humidifier. I think it looks like it's in great shape, too. It was five bucks. And I'll put the comps up somewhere here. And it's like uh, 75 bucks, something like that. Back here, Minnie. Got this resin mini mouse. It's from Kmart back in the day for 40. It was 40 bucks back then. It's got it for ten dollars. It's in really great shape. It's a planter. It's official Disney. Got this extremely heavy Phillips. Um, it's some type of cooker HD 3095. It's like an uh, invection oven, whatever convection oven. Paid. What was it? Ten dollars for it? I think it's like eighty, ninety dollars. This was from St. Vincent de Paul. Got the two pair of Duluth Trading Company jeans, men's. I believe they're the same size. They were two bucks each, three bucks each. Might lock them together because they're the same size. Showed this incredible Steelers 1970s, whatever it is, Super Bowl 13 terrible tile that was a buck. That's a heck of a find. This Wrangler Pro Gear, I don't know if they call them shooting shirts or something, it's like quilted and patched up here on the arm. It was, I might pay for that one. Four bucks for that. Got this. New line folding nursery chair. That kid is creepy as heck. It's scarier than anything for Halloween. Anyway, it's brand new in the box. It was uh, $8. It's like surprisingly, it's like $50, $60. There aren't that many of them, but when they sell and when they're available, they're expensive. Got this at the Christian Layman's. It's this awesome Navajo print, I believe it would be, Carhartt jacket. It's probably youth size, I'm guessing. It's a size medium. It was only like two or three dollars, but I could pass that up. Speaking of Carhartt, showed this one from Goodwill, the first Goodwill was $12. I looked it up, it's like a $60, $70 jacket. Right there. I think I showed this briefly, the uh, body, bit, body Blade Classic Exercising Machine, whatever in the world this is. Nope, you gotta hold the center. Oh, you hold the center and you do with this? Yeah, there you go. I have no idea. Do you, do you fly? No. I don't know. 
The mustard? Hold it vertically. I don't know. Hold it vertically. There you go. It was five bucks and they sell for like forty fifty dollars. So. Body blade. Got some Rogaine. I, I don't need that myself, but I'm going to sell it if it's new. I have to inspect it further. I looked it over. It looks like it's probably new, but it was two dollars and they sell for like fifteen twenty dollars per bottle. And there's two in here and one in here, so I wasn't gonna pass it up for four bucks for the two of them. Got this lovely Woolrich hat. This lovely Woolrich hat here. The buffalo plaid wool. Um, I'm not sure what style they call these. It's too small to fit on my big head. But I didn't even look it up. It was like a dollar. I'm sure it's like at least 20, 25 bucks. I don't think we should show this to the kids, but I found the Stanley Cup. <laughs> They've been wanting one, and we're not obviously going to pay $50, $60 for a Stanley Cup for the kids. It's like an actual Stanley. <laughs> Go figure. It was $3. This is a shark vacuum. We have a lady who buys every shark vacuum that we get. Um, if she wants this one, I'm sure we'll make a deal. It's the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away. I paid $9 for it. Uh, I looked it up on eBay, and on there it sells for like 70 bucks or something like that. But we'll just see, we'll reach out to her and see if she wants to come get it. And that'll be a real simple sell. Last bag. This is from the first Goodwill I went to. I shared the True Religion. These were Rocco, is the style. Rocco relaxed skinny jeans. I paid $7. They're like 30, 40 bucks. True Religion still sells, not as well as before, but they are faked often. So if you find authentics, they can be good. This. I'd never seen before. It was Cole Haan. I didn't know they made jackets, but I looked it up and it's surprisingly quite expensive. I know they make some nice shoes. The shoe market for Cole Haan has dropped significantly. I don't usually buy them anymore, but this jacket is great. Uh, that's just some fuzz. So I picked that one up. This is a car stereo kit for Honda Fit. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, I don't know if it's new in the box. It has some Amazon warehouse tape in here, but it was only, I don't know. It was five bucks and I looked in there like 40, 50 bucks, something like that. So I'll just check and see if it's in there. And see, I didn't want to open it up. So for $5, it's probably there. I didn't show this one when I was in the store because it was, the music was too loud. I picked up a bunch of Harry Potter. The novels, what we got books, um, three, two, three, four, five, and seven. Once you have the complete set, they sell on eBay for like $60, $70. And these were only four bucks a piece, the hardbacks you want to get. If any of these are first editions, that'll add to the price. I didn't look, I just grabbed them. And they don't smell like smoke. You always want to make sure these things don't smell like smoke because that will drop the price. And last but not least, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or keep it. I've been finding cool t-shirts. This <laughs> reading and rocking Pete the Cat t-shirt. And it's dated... 1999 and 2010. I didn't even know Pete the Cat was around in 1999 or 2010 for that matter. Our kids love Pete the Cat, but it's my size and it's such an awesome shirt. So I don't know if it's worth anything, but it was only three bucks. So I might wear it a bit and then sell it, but we'll see. And that is everything I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep checking back. I'm gonna try to put videos out several times a week. And this is everything we got. I already showed the chickens. I wanted to put them on the skateboard, but as soon as I bought this, put the skateboard over, they ran away. So I hope you enjoy it and catch you next time. Thanks.